We begin this half hour in Gambia, where the country's Truth and Reconciliation and Reparations Commission is underway. The commission is investigating the massacre of nearly 60 West African migrants in Gambia and Senegal in 2005. It's been reported that the Gambian security forces arrested the migrants who were bound for Europe after their boat had landed in the country. They were suspected of being involved in a coup attempt, and the migrants included about 44 Ghanaians, nine Nigerians, two Togolese, and others from Côte d'Ivoire and Senegal. Human rights activist and senior advocate from Nigeria, Femi Falana, joins, uh, represents some of the families of the deceased migrants, and he joins us now via Zoom for an update on the proceedings at the Commission. Advocate, thanks very much indeed for joining us and uh, welcome to the programme. Hello, Advocate uh, Falana, can you hear me? Hello, Peter, I can hear you now. Right. Um, Advocate, it's been a long time seeking justice for particularly uh, your clients and uh, migrants that were killed back in 2005. Are you hopeful that this round might yield some justice? Well, we are very hopeful in the sense that the facts are coming out, not fully out yet, uh, in the sense that uh, about 59 uh, West African migrants, uh, including 44 Ghanaians and nine Nigerians, uh, were massacred on the orders of uh, uh, ex-president Yaya Jame. Uh, at the tribunal last week, I mean, I mean, the Commission, the Truth, Reconciliation and Reparation Commission in Banjul, sitting in Banjul, uh, evidence was uh, adduced to the fact that uh, uh, 51 uh, of the migrants were massacred in one first swoop. Earlier than that, I mean, earlier before then, uh, about uh, eight Nigerians had been massacred. So altogether, we are talking about 59 migrants. Uh, but uh, uh, on Monday this week, uh, uh, Martin Atom, a Ghanaian, the only survivor, uh, gave his very chilling evidence. While on Tuesday, uh, Kende, uh, uh, the brother of one of the slain Nigerians, uh, uh, gave his own evidence. Uh, to confirm and to corroborate the evidence of Martin. So we are very hopeful this mm. time around, uh, now that the facts are coming out, and we do hope that the commission will, at the end of the day, make appropriate recommendations to the fact that uh, those who participated in the massacre be brought to justice, while appropriate... Um, recommendation, I mean, in terms of reparation, will also be made so that the uh, Gambian government can compensate uh, the families, the b families of those who were killed. We are very hopeful this time around. All right. So there have been probes before, reports issued, and in fact, one that was uh, partly authored by the UN didn't even... Uh, point a finger directly at the Gambian government or the president. Um, are you saying that there's new evidence this time around or were there problems with the way that the case was probed the last time? Uh, 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 the UN uh, and all the bodies that attempted, even including some uh, West African countries that attempted to investigate what happened, didn't get evidence. But now the evidence is coming out uh, through the efforts of uh, Human Rights Watch and some of us, you know, who are involved in the investigation. We've carried out a very thorough investigation, and this time around, the evidence is watertight. Does this go all the way to the top, to the, to the president's office, the former president's office? Advocate Falana, can you hear me? No, please come again. Yes, I was saying, uh, from what you're hearing and your understanding of the evidence, 
Did these killings um, get ordered from the highest office in the land, the former president's no, office? I, no. Evidence are led even by security officials in the Gambia to the fact that they arrested, they tortured, they detained these guys before they were executed on the orders of direct orders of President Yaya Jammeh. Those who carried out the execution have given evidence. Hmm. So we have detailed evidence already. So was it mistaken identity or was it just uh, overzealous uh, security? What, what, what went wrong? Well, um, it, it wasn't a case of mistaken identity. Uh, from the evidence less so far, it was, uh, it was said that uh, President Yajame thought, well, you know, uh, these were mercenaries who wanted to overthrow his government, you know. Uh, but, you know, it was also very supernatural, you know. I mean, superstitious, mm. you know. Uh, and he also believed that uh, he needed their blood to stay in power, to elongate his tenure, you know. That was another version. But what is important is that without trial, these guys were arrested and detained and tortured and executed. Mm. And that is the evidence that has been uh, established. And, what, and that is what is important. His motivation is totally irrelevant. What other evidence? It's a crime against humanity, yeah. you know, to waste 59 young men who were, you know, because of the destruction of the economies, you know, in the region, were trying to go to Europe through North Africa. Is there ev other evidence that you're still expecting to come through? Well, we are still uh, trying to get evidence in respect of about. Uh, 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 seven others so far we have established uh, that 52 I mean uh, uh, 52 of the we've, we've, we've identified 52 of the of uh, out of the 59 that were massacred we have their names we are making contacts with their family members uh, you know mm. uh, and so the investigation continues we still want to establish the identities of the remaining seven slain Nigerians. All right, and it's, as far as justice is concerned, you're seeking some kind of restitution. Um, does this commission have the power to give an order in terms of compensation, for example? Well, the, the commission has uh, powers to uh, 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 give reparation. It also has the power to order uh, the persecution of those who are primarily liable uh, for the atrocious act of the state at the material time. And this time around, we are not, uh, we are not limited uh, to the proceedings of the commission. Uh, we also have the regional court, the uh, 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 Community Court of Justice of ECOWAS, I mean, the Court of ECOWAS, ECOWAS Court, uh, where I also know that about two cases have been filed in respect of the same incident. So uh, we, we, are, we are very confident that justice will be done.